Hi everyone. Welcome to Java Techie. So we all use JSON in every single days while designing APIs, building microservices or managing configuration. So we can say it's basically bread and butter for developers, right? But in today's AI world, JSON is not the most LLM friendly format. It work, but it's bulky, slow and expensive when it comes to token usage. So what if I told you there is a new alternative that can boost your processing speed, save your cost and even reduce token usage by 40 to 70 percent. Sounds crazy, right? But it's true. It's called Toon. Toon stands for Token Oriented Object Notation, a new format that's creating the real buzz in the AI space. So well, in this tutorial, we'll see why Toon is better than JSON. And instead of just going through theory, I'll show you a real hands-on example using Toon. Okay, alright. So without any further delay, let's get started. So while working with AI model, we usually send a prompt to LLM and it gives us a response back. In the AI world, your prompt is basically the input token you are sending to the LLM model and the response is the output token you get back from your model. And the rule is simple, more token usage, higher cost and slower performance because the LLM needs more time to process your token, right? Now let's understand the problem with JSON. It already has a nice key value pair structure. So what's wrong with it? How does it actually increase the token count if you are using JSON? So let's go through one example. Then you will understand the real difference between JSON and Toon. Okay. Then you will choose which one to go for while playing with large language model. So let's say I have this simple JSON and I give it to the large language model to generate a well structured description for my profile. Now if you look into this particular JSON, it is well structured with the key and value. Key value. Like this. Correct? What's wrong with it? What is the problem with this JSON? How it increases the input token when it goes to the LLM? That's really interesting. You need to understand from this particular payload. Now observe it carefully. In this JSON, we have one bracket. Correct? Not one bracket, we have multiple bracket, opening and closing braces. Apart from that, for each entry, we have a space. And you also have a double quote for each key and value. Also, additionally, you have comma after each entry. Now think technically, when you are sending this whole payload to large language model, each character your brushes, your double quotes, your additional comma and spaces, everything will be considered as a token while sending it to the LLM. Since LLM charge per token, even these unnecessary character count towards your bill, which means more cost for no real value, isn't it? So now the question here, how do we solve this? How can we reduce cost by sending only the minimum tokens that the LLM can understand and give us the response back. Well, that's exactly where Toon comes into the picture. A new format that's creating the massive buzz in the AI world. Now let's understand what is this Toon, what is the structure of this Toon and how it is reduce the token while formatting from JSON to Toon or while sending it to the LLM. Okay. Now let's do one thing. Let's convert this particular JSON to Toon and we'll see the syntax. So let's copy this particular JSON. Then I'll go to the browser. There is a tool called JSON to Toon Converter. You just paste your JSON structure. Okay. This the left side is my JSON payload where I have key value and we have these open and close braces. We have comma, we have space, everything. Now let's see the Toon format. Now if you see in the Toon format, it is just 
representation of your json without having any space any quote and there is no bracket as well there is no comma can you see here now you can count by yourself how many quotes we have how many comma we have how many open and close braces we have and what is the space size everything and see here you can understand why llm like tune not json okay now if you want to see the actual token count let me copy this and you can go here again this is just tune tools playground you can paste your json and if you see the payload the number of token in this json is 68 and if you see the tune token for the same payload is 48 and in csv we are not going to consider that in yml it is 51 token in xml it is 77 token now see the difference with this small payload in json it is 68 token however in tune we reduce the 20 tokens by discarding all the useless character like comma quote space and open and close braces okay now this is the simple payload so you are seeing this small difference now let me paste 50 list of user okay then we'll see the number difference i have this list of json user.json let me copy this and i'll just paste here now see here in json what is the token count guys 1481 tokens in json which is nothing a list of user with field id name email gender and country and json contains your open close braces all the extra character okay now see here in tune what is the token count double nine three now what is the token count in yml 1710 2690 in xml now focus on this particular tune see the structure of tune when you will give the list of json or list of object as part of your json your tune will convert that to the csv format see here the total element size in my array 50 and this is nothing my name key name you can consider id name email gender country then each row contains one object each row represent one object there is no comma at the end there is no space there is no quote nothing that is the reason the token count got reduced now think practically which one is best which one will save your money or which one will save your cost when you will give 1481 tokens to the llm it will charge more that is expected right but when you will give 993 tokens to llm he might charge less because the token count got reduced okay that is the main advantages of tune over json okay so i hope now you got the context why llm likes tune over json so well you no need to put pressure on your little brain to play with tune what basically you need to do if you check this particular flow this is compact human readable serialization of json data for llm so what you need to do you send the json request then in your application encode that json to the tune or convert that json to the tune then send it to llm this way you will save 30 to 60 percent of token usage which will definitely reduce your cost and also if you will compare the accuracy level of tune and json tune accuracy level is 73.9 percent however json is having 69.7 percentage so if you really want to play with tune and if you want to see the number difference of token if you will go with the flat structure of json you might not see the huge number difference okay but if you have a nested json like if you have a object then you have another object inside it like that if you have nested json then you will see the huge difference in token okay so let's do one thing let's go to the official page of tune understand it then we will play using our own large language model and tune format so if you will go here 
So this one is official GitHub page of Tune. I'll share the link in video description so that you can have access to all the link what I have shown in this video. Okay. Now let's understand its definition. What Tune says? Tune stands for Token Oriented Object Notation, which is a compact, human-readable encoding of the JSON data model that minimizes tokens and makes structure easy for model to follow. Okay. It's intended for LLM input as a drop-in, lossless representation of your existing JSON. This is not something rocket science. We already understand. Tune is nothing. Another format of your JSON. Tune combines YML indentation based structure. Now if you see here, this is your simple JSON. And this is almost look like your YML structure. Now see here, you will find the difference. Now this is your JSON, this is your tune, see this tune and see the YML structure below. Isn't it same? In YML also you don't have space, you don't have comma, you don't have open and close braces. Is it same? But still your YML has little more useless token like this. Okay. Now if you see here, for nested object with a CSV style tabular layout for uniform arrays. Now here when we just paste our list of JSON, it shows like a CSV tabular format. Can you see here? 50 element in this array. These are the column or header you can consider like in CSV and each entry represent a new object. That is what it says. Tune combines YML indentation based structure for nested object with a CSV style tabular layout for uniform arrays. So you can go through this particular page, understand more about Tune. Now if you see the benchmark result, there is few benchmarking done recently. Now if you see the result, performance of Tune 26.9, JSON Compact 22.9, YML 18.6, JSON 15.3. Okay, which one is good? And the token usage in Tune 2744. However, in JSON it is almost double 4545. There are so many benchmarking results you will find. Now I will show you something. Yeah. If you are sending mixed structure data in Tune, you will find the count 72771 tokens for e commerce order. For JSON, what is the number? 108806 tokens. Okay, and you can also see the YML and XML. If you will give semi uniform data, then the tune token count is this much, however, in JSON is this much. So you can go through this particular page, you see all the benchmarking result, you will find the real difference of tune over JSON. Now let's do one thing. Since we don't have any direct support of Spring AI to play with Tune, I have created a simple project using Olama with Llama 2 model. We'll give him the Tune request and JSON request. We'll see the difference. Now, if I'll show the code, it is very simple code, guys. I have a controller class. What I'm doing here, I'm giving this simple user profile JSON payload. Okay, so this is my JSON payload and I'm printing the JSON payload. Similarly, next I am converting that JSON to Tune. To convert that, I have used one third party jar. If you will go and check my pom.xml, I have added this particular jar. There is no direct support as such in Java. So I have added this third party jar to convert JSON to Tune. Okay, I will share this link in description so that you can rerun the same project by changing the payload or you can play to this particular project. So we have this particular sample pojo, we convert it to the JSON, then we convert that profile to tune object. Now we are evaluating the number of token in JSON and number of token in tune payload. Then we are giving it to the Olama, hey, take this user profile, summarize this particular profile to me and give me the response in JSON and tune. And also, I am preparing this response payload. That is the simple logic guys. And to start Olama in my local, I have created docker compose.yml file. 
where I am using the latest Olama and the default port is this much. That's it. Now let's run it. First, let me run the Docker. It is already up and running. Now what I need to do? I will simply run Docker Compose. Now let me start the Olama model. So you can see here it already started. Now let me pull the Llama 2 model. Olama is a tool to run different model. So I am using Olama tool with Llama 2 model. See simple thing. Instead of making these things complex, if you have money, purchase the Chart GPT subscription or OpenAI subscription. Directly do the rest call to the OpenAI. Since this is just a demo, I am just going with the workaround to run the LLM in my local and sending the request so that everyone can try that rather than paying for just testing. Okay. Now what next? So I pull the Llama 2 model. Now just run that model in your local. So we are good here. Now send a message to get the response. Now let me restart this particular project. So it started. Now go to the browser. Open the Swagger. So you have this particular API where we are just comparing the token count and response in JSON versus two. Try it out. Execute the request. You'll see the log here. Can you see here? For this simple payload, when you are giving the JSON payload, this is the JSON structure. Okay. And this is the corresponding tune structure. This much. Now if you see the token difference, in JSON token count is 90. However, in tune token count is 51. There is almost 30, 40, right? 40 token we reduced while using the tune. So if you play with the huge payload, you will definitely save more token which is directly save more cost from the AI perspective. Okay. Let's see the output. So we got the response. Can you see here? This is the JSON payload we send. This is the tone payload. And JSON token is 90. Input token 51. Total token we save in the simple payload is 39. And this is the output in JSON summary. This is the output in tone summary. Okay. This will take some time because since I am running this Olama in my local and it depends on your configuration basically. So for me it took more than 30-40 seconds to give this response. It depends on your system configuration. If you have high configured system then you will get the immediate response. Okay. Alright guys that's it for the day. We just understand how tone token object oriented notation can make a huge difference in the AI world, it's faster, cheaper and way more efficient than JSON when working with large language model. So the next time you are sending data to an LLM, remember JSON is for human, tune is for machine. So if you found this video useful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more hands-on AI and Spring Boot content. Okay, do let me know in a comment section if you have any doubts. Thanks for watching this video, I'll see you in the next one.